Hey, kids, it's time for another exotic episode of KW Judas. <laughs> W. Judas Free Radio Provo. Thank you all so much for being here with us tonight. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing better than I thought I'd be doing. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did you think you were gonna be doing? I, fuck. I wake up every day and I'm like, you know what? Fuck. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a horrible day. It's. Uh, I only. I, I thought only, I was the only one that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only say that. Because in hopes, I switch it around to where it's not a fucking horrible day. 
And but you don't drink all day, every day. No, I not no more. I don't. I fucking, I used to drink and drink and drink. But since my son's been born, God, I I have a beer here and there, but not like, eh. all the time. Well, that's uh, probably a good enough reason to to clean up your act a little bit. Me uh, getting a car helped. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a car up until like a year ago, oh, and shit. I'm not the type that wants to mix the drinking and the driving. So yeah, no, getting that's... that car was like, man, I gotta. It's like it's it's as close to having a son as I think I can handle right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I treat my car well. No, I don't. I named it. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's, its name is Carless, and me and Carless go out on all sorts of adventures. I bet. <laughs> I bet. We have the trouble much kid here with us on KW Judas. <laughs> I haven't even introduced this motherfucker yet. <laughs> Already That's off to fun. a great start. So, you are from Salt Lake? Now I am. Now you are. <laughs> now I'm from Salt Lake. What the fuck are you doing in Salt Lake? I, I live here now. I oh. I live here now. I, I guess that makes sense. I, <laughs> I flew here. Um, I moved here from San Bernardino, California, mm-hmm. and... Um, I was here back and forth, like, visiting family, and then I guess I just settled down here. So you got family here in Salt Lake? Yeah, so in California, I didn't really have, I mean, I had family, as in, like, family friends. Right. And, like, my older brother uh, lives out there, um, and that was my family. But my the majority of my family is here in Salt Lake. But you were born in? I was born and raised in California. Word. So that's that's just... That was my home. I mean, it's always going to be my home, but being here, like, honestly, I feel I feel more home here. I don't know if it's maybe just because my son and my lady, but I hey, feel more home here. If you're going to raise a kid, Utah is not a bad place to do it. Yeah, it's not too bad out here. I mean, I run into the usual people that just no. like, oh, you're from California. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would be more like, oh, you're from California. No, hell no. You want to read a book <laughs> about the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter Day Saints? I just, oh yeah, I don't even, I don't even bother answering the door for them anymore. Oh, I do. They don't bother coming to my door, is what I can think. Of. <laughs> they come to my house once, and they don't want to talk to me anymore. Well, they found out you named your car. <laughs> I thought everybody did that. <laughs> Who the fuck doesn't name their car? I know I didn't name my car. <laughs> they usually name it a girl's name, but still, I thought guys named their cars all the time. I guess if you really liked your car, you'd name it Bessie or I just had uh, I was just I don't like, know a car name. <laughs> I just had too many like cars that I was driving. I haven't, so, I like, so it's special to me. So I was like, I can't fucking <laughs> name this one because then I'm gonna act like it's I a failed relationship if I don't like uh, continue to use this. T- <laughs> it'd be like if I named all of my phones. Yeah. I just it's wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. It would kind of be funny if I did that, though. Yeah. I, I named my last one Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson. Because <laughs> <laughs> when he said Turd Ferguson, I'm like, he's dropping his fucking phone too many times in the toilet. That's why. <laughs> uh, no. I drop my phone a lot. I've only dropped my phone in the toilet once. Oh, <laughs> damn fucking sucks. Because you're not going to not use it after that. Yeah, no, it's still your phone. It's still your <laughs> phone, yeah. <laughs> you gotta figure it out. I, I guess as long as you flushed. <laughs> no, no. Even if you didn't, you're just no, in trouble. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, why don't we get into another song? Yeah, I'm down. Let's get it. So this what uh, the la- the last one that you played, 4 a.m. on the boulevard. Is there any story or anything behind that? <laughs> so the, the story behind that it's so funny. Um, I was up and I was like recording music. And I was like, I just can't fucking seem to do it. Producers are sending me beats. And I'm like, I found this beat. Right when I found the beat, I was like vibing out to it. And I was like, okay. My brother called me. He was on the boulevard at 4 a.m. in Vegas. And I was like, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. 4 a.m. on the boulevard. I'm just going to fucking name it like that. (laughs) My brother called me right at 4 a.m. I'm literally about to hit record. Uh, we hung up, and I was like, 4 a.m. on the boulevard, that's the name of the song. Now I just need to build around it, and I just kept it like that. I was like, fuck. I was struggling with the name. It was meant to be. Yeah, then he called. It was like <laughs> 4 on the dot in the morning, and he called me. I mean, first off, you're fucking crazy. You're hanging out on the boulevard in Vegas, 4 in the fucking morning. But I guess that's usual for people that live in Vegas. I guess hanging out 4 a.m., <laughs> it's normal. That's what I was doing at 4 a.m. <laughs> in Vegas, hanging out on the boulevard. On acid. 
drunk off my ass. <laughs> oh, shit. What else are you doing at 4 a.m. on the boulevard? Oh, fuck. They there's had to get crazy. me the fuck out of there. Yeah, there's there's a lot of crazy shit that goes on on the boulevard. All right. I can't count many times. So, this next song, we got Letter to My Son. Yes. All right. KW Judas, Free Radio, Provo, Trouble Muck Kid. This is Letter to My Son. Thank you all for joining us. I'm not here. <laughs> oh, God. I love you, son. You need to always know that I love you. And if you miss me, my voice is right here. Let's go. Yeah. I'm looking for a way out Cause I've been getting way too crazy now Still care I'm looking for a way out Yeah, yeah I'm looking for a way out Cause I've been getting way too crazy now I'm looking for a way out yeah. We're out of this broken place, yeah This is a letter to my son, yeah, you know I love you And thank you to the angels that are all above you Forget all of those demons, they can never touch you You can tell them that you love them, but they'll never trust you Soon as you start to spill your heart, I don't wanna gut you And once you have your own little babies, they'll learn it from you So if your daddy's gone, and I couldn't teach you all of these lessons Just turn my music on, and baby, yeah, you'll get the message And I know you'll have a lot of questions Like, why they lay me down on the ground, crawling from the wreckage You second guessing and running from your depression Every Every little mark you make, just leave a bigger impression Like, did I do it right? Did I do it wrong? Am I living life? Do I live it long? Yeah, am I getting by? Yeah, am I getting strong? Yeah, I'm looking for a way out Cause I've been getting way too crazy now I'm looking for a way out I'm looking for a way out Cause I've been getting way too crazy now I'm looking for a way out A way out of this broken place, yeah. When your mommy stepped about the bathroom and I felt surprised Real lines I could no longer deny With watery eyes that you were on the way I was feeling alive and I was feeling okay uh, This is something that I need to say, yeah Every time I hold you is a rain, Elijah, if you love him, don't play, yeah Elijah, if you love him, don't play yeah, there's gonna be some times when you're down and it's dark and it's hard And you need to listen to your mama follow your heart Follow your heart Don't let them try to tear you apart Cause you know and I know, yeah You know and I know And you're my star shining bright Your mom's my sunshine, yeah I'm looking for a way out Cause I've been getting way too crazy now I'm looking for a way out I'm looking for a way out, cause I've been getting way too crazy now. I'm looking for a way out, a way out of this broken place. Yeah. Looking for a way out, cause I've been getting way too crazy now. I'm looking for a way out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> crazy boy. Looking for a way out. What out happened? I fucking love that song. <laughs> Letter to my son. KW Judas, Free Radio Provo. What's that song about? Um, I, I've always wanted to make a song. I mean, if I ever had a kid, at this point, I, if I ever had a kid, I was like, I want to make a song. I want to make a letter to my daughter, to my son, just to whoever, just so they have that there. Because I mean, right. we're all not gonna live forever, and. I'm not always going to be here forever. Like, so if they ever need to go back and listen to my voice, that song's there to remind them that I'm there, even though I'm not physically here for my son. That song meant so much to me. Um, this is my firstborn, um, and he means the world to me. So making that song, I was just like, fuck. I was, I was getting into it, and even into the verses. I was like, Shit, I need, like, I need to take a breath for a second, like, just relax, calm down, because I was getting like emotional because there's so much stuff i want to say but i have a like three four minute beat but i want to go seven ten minutes talking to my son on this song and then in the end um i put in like a little clip of um my girlfriend and my son just her playing with him him like making like noises and just being cute 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 shit like that so that was like and then that's always going to be there for him. That's not going to go nowhere. So he's always going to have that to listen to all the time. 
I guess asking what that song was about was kind of rhetorical. <laughs> I the, mean, I figured you had something behind it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> to do with a son and you know talking to him. But yeah, that that is probably one of my favorite songs that I've made throughout my whole career doing music. That's probably like my favorite song, and I've I've had some pretty decent songs hit some good numbers, but that definitely is a song. Um, that's unreleased too, by the way. Uh, really? I haven't dro- yeah, I haven't dropped that yet. Um, not so guess, anywhere. Not anywhere. So they've heard it first on here. We're the first ones to have it in our ears, folks. Do you hear that? Yes. Yes. A sir. lot of people should know by now. <clears throat> KW Judas has a lot of previously unreleased shit. Mm-hmm. I don't think we get enough fucking credit for that. God damn it. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> you will hear on this show. You will not hear anywhere else, even if you're already a fan. Uh huh. You have like I think I sent. So out of the songs that I, I put in here, you have probably four, four or five unreleased songs that really? are, are coming up on this next album. Well, and, fuck and, yeah. And I put it on there because <laughs> I'm planning on to put a lot of more songs onto the album, but I was like, you know what? What better fucking place to hear it than putting it on this? It's going to be fucking dope. Oh, yeah. And it'll give them a taste of, I have 20 no, that, other songs ready to yeah. drop on my album, so I mean... That's a good way to, uh, I guess, give people a little bit of a sneak peek. Yeah, give them a little taste. When's the album coming out? Do you know yet? <sighs> not, ex- not where I, I wanted it to drop July, like in the weekend of like july so like july 6th first second but got pushed back i didn't get to do it when i wanted to i mean that always happens every time i have a release date that's why i just don't even fucking say it anymore i don't even say like hey i'm dropping it on august 7th august 8th doesn't work like that because i made that mistake (laughs) yeah i'm like no the hell with that so you want the finished product yeah and then make the announcement instead i'm like hey i have an album coming this summer that's it. That's all. Yeah, I tell that me. works. It's coming this summer. I'm gonna have it this summer. Hopefully, uh, late into next month, I'm gonna have that that album drop. That's what I'm. That's what I'm shooting for. And if not then, then October. I've dropped plenty of albums in October. So, cool. I guess next month would be perfect. Do like a, a Halloween special or something. I was. Oh God, I was thinking about that. Some producer sent me some songs, and it's like some Michael Myers shit. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, yeah, might not be a bad idea. I'm like, I'm like, how fucking crazy can I get on this song right now? Like, I, how, what twisted shit can I see on here? And then I start saying it, and I'm like. Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, slow down. It's nice. It's nice. But yeah, I'm hmm. actually, that's probably going to be. I want to do some horror rap. I'm telling you, that's probably going to be something <laughs> I'm going to work on. I do so, so much. That'd be fun. I do so much fucking, so many different genres I'm always doing. I mean, you give me country, I'll do country. You give me fucking, I mean, I did jazz. Or, give me whatever, R&B, hip hop, rap, whatever the hell you want to give me. I mean, I've mixed heavy metal shit for some people. I and was I, just going to say, uh, what's the extent of your uh, your BMAF, your I will DMAF? Go, <laughs> at, at, one point, <laughs> at one point, it was like, I'm not doing fucking country. No way I'm doing country. I thought that until I joined the country th- band. Yeah, then I started listening to country, <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? Some of these sad motherfuckers actually are nice with their lyrics. And then I was like, okay, opera. I'm never fucking going to do anything with opera. So I'm, I'm at that point now where I'll do any other fucking genre. But I'm not going towards. I'm not going towards opera. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. I thought your your next follow up comment would be, and then, and then there was this opera singer. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I was just like, holy fuck. Yeah. No, I actually kind of agree there too. To be honest, uh, I've heard some like metal bands that throw opera in there, uh-huh. and it still turns me off. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, it's very rare that I hear that operatic voice whether it's the male the uh, or the, yeah. the female that uh, i'm not even gonna try <laughs> it's just man i i admire their talent dude it's yeah no it's hard to sing like that and crazy. holy fuck but i'm not doing it <laughs> but so, no yeah, yeah it's fucking crazy but i'm not doing it like it's the same thing with the butt rock vocals you know the, the way high pitched. oh yeah still kind of operatic the high vibrato yeah but it's like i'm not there still not same thing that. I respect it. I yeah, appreciate no, I that they can do that. I That's definitely some fucking can. talent. But man, I hear it, and it's almost as bad as like babies crying or yeah. puppy dogs yeah. whining. <laughs> it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Yeah, man. I don't. I don't go out on a <laughs> fucking Saturday morning and start singing to birds in the morning like I'm fucking. Some Disney princess. That's that's not me. I can't. I can't do that. I'd probably fucking kill a bird if I started singing to it. I, I'd, <laughs> I'll still sing to birds. I'm just not going to do it operatically. No. Yeah. No. That's not for me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I'll do it uh, DMAF style, you know? Fucking death metal as He's fuck. Like, <laughs> start screaming, screaming at the bird in the Ooh, fucking... Oh, God, home, birds. My aunt has this fucking bird. 
I hate this fucking bird. I I've never had beef with an animal, but this bird. Oh, I, I just, have. I just have because he talks and he talks shit, and I just I oh my god that bird. We have like serious beef, but he when you play a song and you tell him go Rico go Rico, he starts fucking bobbing his head and he starts getting into the song. So Herb. I'll sit there like some music that's unreleased and I'm like fuck it. I guess I'll just show it to this guy <laughs> I fucking hold my phone up to the bird the bird's all fucking getting it I was like look if a bird likes it you're gonna like it so there's no problem <laughs> I was like fuck it yeah that bird sets the bar if the bird don't yeah, like right? it you're fucked that's the fucking that's the slogan if the bird don't like it then fuck I guess you're not gonna like it but that bird is jammed out to every one of my songs even though I still fucking hate him so what do you mean he talks shit? He just says shit. Like, like you just hear <laughs> him just say gonna, shit. I guess like it's oh a my fucking God. bird. Dude. He mocks. So he mocks the fuck out of my uncle. He's like mocking when he's yelling at the at my cousins or like he just mocks. He's just a little smart ass fucking bird. And I guess that's birds. You know they fucking mock he's whatever just they hear. Imitating stuff. He probably doesn't even know what it means. He just looks like he knows what it means. <laughs> just, uh, well. I start making up shit because I want to fight the bird. I'm just like fuck it. <laughs> I walk in first. I for like I walk in the house. And I'm like fuck you, Rico. And then I just go on with my day. What does he say? That's just nothing. He just like okay. looks. At, he looks at me at that point because at this point he just doesn't say anything no more. It's just normal. Fuck you, Rico. Uh, you know, and he gives me the additional fuck you back. You know that look. And so I'm like, you know what? All right. I guess so that's he just. He still like, knows. He still knows. Like, I don't fucking like him. I don't. <laughs> or he, he tricks me. He lets me fucking pet him. Like, I'll go in to pet him, and he puts his, like, head to the cage, and then he fucking goes to bite me. And I'm like, you're a piece of shit. No, my, that's all birds. My, no, my lady comes up to pet him, and he fucking lets her. He just lets her start petting him. I go up to do it. He puts his head down, lets me fucking, like, attempt to touch his beak, and then he tries to fucking bite me. And I'm like, I hate this fucking bird. That's how all, all birds have been with me, man. <laughs> fucking little cunts. Oh, shit. <laughs> we should play another song on that note. <laughs> yeah. <let's>, <laughs> if we're talking about what fucking cunts birds are, uh, then we probably <laughs> got sidetracked from so many other topics. Yeah, right? Fuck. We can throw Summer Nights, I guess, out. That's hot summer nights. That's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice, nice little relaxing. All right. Hot Summer Nights. Okay. KW Judas. Free radio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. <laughs> it's funny now. Yeah. Check it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your drinks up in the sky real high. Put your drinks up in the sky real nice. We gon' get it right when we party on them summer days, summer nights. We gon' make sure that we love it life. Smoke a little Mary Jane, make sure that you feel it right. We gon' get it by, we gon' get it by. So I put them kicks on that I set aside the other night. Just in case we have a little party, man, I'm looking fly. Looking fly with my son and my shorty by my side. Cause you know that they gon' ride. I'm loving every night, I'm loving every day that I'm looking in their eyes. I'm I never tell no lies, I never tell no lies Cause you know that I'm down for you Yeah, you know that I'm down for you Like you're down for me, come around with me Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's party in the summertime Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, yeah, I love it Let's party in the We gon' make sure the whole town can hear us now We get the speakers and you know it's getting loud Waking all the neighbors up cause you know we getting down Like sitting down by the pool getting cold While we take a couple shots and you know that we up Like, uh, tell me that you like that, like that Tell me that you want my mind that, mind that Now we getting in the whips Tell me that you like it when they moving like this Like, like, uh, down, uh, down, uh, down Tell me that don't love me when I'm up
turn me on. We have some different type of shit. But I like this vibe. So if you feel me, you feel me. If you're not, then you're not. But let's go. But you ain't writing back Yeah, you wanted something different I don't mind that I just wanna move your hips The way you like that They always on me down On the ground But I'm right back Right back to the same shit uh, Right back to the same clay uh, Yeah, you know we gon' stay lit uh, Yeah, you know we gon' stay lit uh. I just wanna see you on my town. I wanna let you know I love you when I'm always around. I wanna hold you when you're up and hold you when you fall down. You dug my little heart up and took it right out of the ground. All this love that I'm having for you, yeah. Got me sitting here all in the boost, yeah. Got me down, I'll never feel blue, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll never feel blue, like. No other love, no other love. W. Judas, Free Radio Provo. Thank you all so much for listening here. We are at the top of the ha- top of the we're at the half of the hour. Half of the hour. <laughs> top of the hour. Top of the half hour. It's one of the fucking hours. We're, <laughs> we're there. I never know what it means when they say top of the hour anyway, so oh, we, I'm just going to say we're at the top of the fucking hour. Yeah, there we go. And halfway through it. Works out. It's it's 9:30. That's fine. All right. Well, that was a horrible way to come back into the. <laughs> well, let me just delete that shit and. Uh, okay, let's pretend like we just heard that song. Okay. All right, KW Judas, we're coming back live. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of that last one? That last one was No Other Love. Uh, the one before that was Summer Nights. Summer Nights was it? Yeah, I like both of those. That um, that first one kind of. Like I was saying on the break, gave me a little bit of a West Coast sort of feel. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. Um, I love, I love old West Coast music. I love the talk box. I love like the OG vibe that it brings. Nate Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, Easy E. Maybe it's being a West Coast motherfucker, but I guess that's just where I'm at. I love doing West Coast music, and that's always going to be a part of like who I am and what I'm doing. Like, no matter how long, I, I can go out and live on the East Coast, and anything I fucking record, I'm going to record West Coast music. That's yeah. just me. There's definitely a difference, and I mean, I like them both. Um, but generally, I kind of like the West the West Coast feel a little bit yeah. more. I, um, I, I like the the old West Coast feel. I don't know. Right. I don't know what the fuck is going on with some of it now. I don't even want to get into it. <laughs> like, I can, I mean, the I where hip-hop yeah. is at right now. Uh, I mean, I can say some shit about some of these West Coast artists, but I... Just makes me hang my heavy head <laughs> in sorrow. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, no, I don't fucking. Dude. You still hear some good underground rap. Yeah. As far as mainstream rap is going, it's just kind of a disgrace, if you ask me. Yeah, it's so sad that I listen to, like, people that are fucking not as famous as all these other jackasses, and 
the music's so fucking good. Their mixes yeah. are so good. There and is then still I go, some good rappers. And then I go and I listen to, I just I listen to some new artists and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, like that mumble rap stuff. I don't fucking know what that is. I couldn't believe that when I first heard it. As uh, like, this is a fucking joke, isn't it? Yeah. And then literally. the person showing it to me was like, no, this isn't like some. Saturday Night Live <laughs> sketch like it's, yeah, it's not a fucking joke. that you're with... watching right now, like the fucking ICP mystery yeah. thing. <laughs> it's, nope, this is a real rapper really making a career <laughs> out of this monstrosity of a joke. They, oh my God, I fucking, I got into it with a mumble rapper, and it didn't end well for him. It didn't end well at all. Like a local guy, or what do you mean? He, this motherfucker, they, the label flew him out, and like he was like this whole precious fucking jewel to them, and he <laughs> fucking, I get autotune, you know what I mean? Like, everybody uses it. It's there. Yeah, it helps push vocals. Especially vocal. nowadays. Especially I, I kind of wish people would sort of lose it. I, yeah, I'm sure they will after a while. Definitely, but it's like like T-Pain. He took, all, he took the autotune, and he went in with something amazing. Made fucking vocals sound great. Sound like fucking, he made hits after hits after hits. This guy... I don't know what he asked his mixer to uh, like mixer to do, but he just drowned his vocals, and then he had the decency to talk shit. Link had the decency to talk shit, and it just didn't end like it didn't end well for him. He couldn't go perform when he wanted to perform because he got booed the fuck off. Really? Um, he would go live and fucking people would just sit there and just rip his ass. They're just like, yo, you know you got your ass fucking dissed. Like I put out, uh, I think it was like a minute and thirty seconds where I dissed him, and it was a freestyle. Just to show him how you actually fucking rap. And they can go on there and find that. I think it's called, like, SNS. Like, I'm sorry, not sorry. And <laughs> word. I asked, like, that night after he was talking shit, I was like, you know what? I looked at my producer, and I'm like, give me a fucking beat. I don't care how long. Just give me a beat. And he found, like, this five-minute beat. And he's like, go ahead. And he hit record, and I just went off. And I cut the beat to where it's, like, a minute and 30 seconds. And literally, I, like, messaged out and, like, tagged him. And I was like, if you want the rest of the minutes, like... Say something else, and I'll just go ahead and drop, like, the rest. I'll hit record, and we can finish out the five minutes if you want. But he didn't go nowhere he wanted to. It looks uh, – last time I heard the label dropped him and sent him back to New York. Uh, yeah, it was – I don't fucking – They didn't, I don't think they dropped him because of me. I think he just started <laughs> flop. I, <think, laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> no, I think he just started flopping in general. I mean, he had one good song, and then – well, one good song to them. Uh, one good song, and then after that, it kind of just went downhill for him. He just wasn't booking enough shows, and then – so are, are you able to disclose who this? Yeah, did? Link. It, it's na- his name is Link. I think it's L I N C or L I N. Some bullshit. I don't fucking know. He's some jackass. So everyone, go look this guy up right yeah, now. Yeah, they can, they can <laughs> go ahead. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't fucking do it. But or look up uh, Link Dis. Link. <laughs> just go on. Go on to like Trouble Much Kid SoundCloud and then click S N S. The whole fucking diss track. I still won't take it down. It's like there forever. Whatever. Well, his tracks can be fun. They Especially are. They if are. They honestly. impacted someone's career. I, <laughs> I've been looking for a a good mutual like beef, like I, not where we literally hate each other, just someone to go back and forth with. Hey, I'll, I'll restart my rap career and we can beef at each that's other. That's all I want. I want someone to like. <laughs> let's test each other's skills, like lyrically. Let's see how far we can go, and that's just what it is. At the end of the day, we're still cool, but I want to test like how far I can go with my lyrics and see how lyrical I am with some people. Word. All right, you hear that? All you MCs out there, that's a fucking challenge. (laughs) He just drew the lawn in the sand. Now who's going to cross it? That's fine with me. Anybody who crosses it is just going to get pushed right back over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who I'm talking to. (laughs) All you out there that are listening to what I'm saying, I'm talking to you. There you go. Yeah, I don't want to drop names, but <laughs> <laughs> fucking MC Grundle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. N- fucking Knob. She's coming for everything. Where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking challenge in the sand. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, just See, those are, th- those are our gargle rappers. They're our local uh, gumption radio a free radio provo mm-hmm. they kind of just hang around the studio and that's kind of um free radio provo's answer to mumble rap is gargle rap and uh <laughs> didn't quite blow up like mumble rap did probably because you got to promote yeah uh, and you like take yourself seriously yeah promoting is a big part of this industry 
It's which like a big we didn't. part of. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to fucking play some of that shit. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get into another one. Yeah. Mm. Trouble. Magic. March. Kid. Run it back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, they want what they want, but I won't give myself. Now they want what they want, said I won't feel so cold. Yeah. Now they want what they want, but no, I will, will not, not go. go. No, I will not go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told these niggas, watch out. I'm about to take it out. I'm about to put it down. I'm about to make this song. I'm about to lay it out. I'm about to put you six feet deep in the ground. I'm a West Coast nigga, better know that. Moving my hands side to side like I'm Kodak. Smoke one ounce, maybe two, and baby, blow back. I'm feeling really good, moving at a straight pace. Shout out to my brothers from Medina to the Bay. This is the type of shit that we be feeling every day. RP to my brothers that I'm out up in the way if you ain't falling then get out my way how would you feel it when i want that cash i want that bag no i want that stack i want a black cadillac i want to move in the back i said they want what they want but i won't give it to them i said they said what they said but i won't pay attention cause i don't move how they I don't do what they gon' do no, I won't say what they gon' say So I'm on in my head Yeah, in my yeah, days Yeah, this is how I'm feeling in this mind of mine I'm feeling lost, I'm feeling dead inside I just wanna die tonight I done live this life too many fucking times I ain't never felt this way Looking in somebody's eyes Get the feeling I'm okay and that I'm all alright You could take the days and I could take the nights I could take your pain and make you feel so nice You can feel so low and I can make you high These are just my thoughts Staring at your stopping time and let me step back so I can let your beauty shine And step for the back and say that this cutie's mine And on my rainy days you can be my little sunlight Shawty my little sunshine I ain't mean to get so close and step inside your bubble It's just me and you and ain't no time for no trouble Trouble, 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 trouble So they want what they want I won't give it to them They do what they do but I won't give it <laughs> so we're gonna have story time with Trouble Much Kid. Yeah, yeah like a bunch of fucking people screaming in the background. Yeah, I'll edit that. Out. <laughs> There's kids still cheering as we speak. We just can't hear them right now. I was like, I'm fucking just they'll be like, there. There you go. So yeah, this is a story from the Trouble Much Kid. Um. Yeah. I mean, I have some. I have some fucking wicked stories. I have some crazy stories. I mean, I have stories to waking up in a whole different fucking city. To I have stories. Okay, there's one. Um, we, me, and my co-producer at the time, were leaving L.A. We just met up with some friends, and I mean, at this point, he's drunk. I'm fucking. I'm off something. I don't know what the fuck I, I was off, but I was off something because I was <laughs> tripping on the way back. You're actually we, tripping. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I was just like fucking, I was so out of it. I partied so hard. Word. It was just everywhere. So on the way back, I started sobering up. And then it was like kind of that. The, when you start sobering up, it's like that boring fucking time where you're just like, all right, now I'm fucking bored. What Slightly am I gonna do? burnt out. Yeah. And so we're driving and it's late and we're finally getting to San Bernardino Mountains. Um, and all I fucking remember was this wicked fucking thing body looked fucking twisted it looked like a like a human person but like in a dog form their head was like oh my fucking god 
I hit the brakes so hard, swerved onto the fucking sidewalk into like the park and literally almost shit myself. And he was like, he looked at me and we're shaking. I was like, did you fucking see what the fuck that was? Because as soon as I saw it come out, it was like crawling. It looks like its hands were still there, feet, and it just looked like a person's body. Like, on all bent. fours? Yeah, bent. Like, not on all fours. Like, you see these fucking people uh, wanting to play horse or dog on their, you know, hind legs, whatever. More like hunched over. This kinda. was more like their body was at a good level. Legs, uh, legs, hand, and fucking hands were, like, planted. Their body was just twisted. Basically twisted to the point to where they... Or like a fucking dog or like an animal. And it was wicked because you can see like the face, like a human face, the body aspects of like a human being. And when it ran out, it's like it froze time for me. And then it just took off and it ran right into like, um, where were we? So we're up in the mountains and then they had like the neighborhood, you know, out here in Utah, like you have the mountains and the neighborhoods, obviously right there. Kind of. Yeah. Kinda like in a that. lot of spots. Yeah, It's kind of like that. And then there was like a park and shit like that. So this, it's like kind of civilized, yeah. but still kind of outdoors. Yeah. It's kind of like borderline. Like Springville, you go up and I like the, um, there's neighborhoods where like you go out your backyard and there's a fucking big ass mountain. That's right. what it was like. So we're driving and yeah, that fucking thing comes running out. I hit the brakes. I swerve onto the right side of the road where there's like a park. And then I just sit there and we're looking at each other like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. And we look back and you can see it in the fucking hill of the mountain. It's Glow, still there? Glowing fucking eyes. Glowing eyes. I thought I was still tripping. I thought I was still high. And he like <laughs> he was 100% sure he wasn't drunk anymore. And I just took off. I just took off. I was like, fuck that. Because he was like, this jackass was like, get out of the car. Are you that, are you, that's the first fucking thing I'm not going to do is get yeah. out of the car. He's like, get out of the car. Go check it out. Actually, you, I, I probably would. I, I was not. I was not staying around. <laughs> At first, you're like, fuck that. And then you're like, yeah, I think I might. I was not staying around for that shit. I was like, no, I'm not getting out of the car. I'm dipping. I drove off so fucking fast. And now that's like when I'm driving through Springville or like Orem and there's like deers walking out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm fucking terrorized. It's that thing. Yeah. Followed me all the way from California. <laughs> now that's a trip. The fact that it wasn't way, way, way out there. It was. Yeah, no, it was still, like still. kind of inner city. Yeah, that's and, nuts. And I knew it wasn't. I knew I wasn't tripping because, um, like, a couple weeks after that, uh, one of my friends came over and like we're recording, and he's like, "Dude, you're not gonna believe me. You're gonna think I'm fucking tripping. Maybe on some fucking drugs." And I was like, "No, like, go ahead, shoot it." He's like, "I was driving up by the mountains, by where that park was." And something ran out in front of the fucking car. Its body was twisted. As soon as he said his body was twisted. Wow. I was like, dude, my fucking heart dropped. And I was like, it's the same <laughs> fucking thing. It's the same fucking thing. How long after this your was, incident So this was, was like it? two weeks. This no like two weeks shit. After. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And wow. like, I was telling some other people about it. And they're like, oh, let's go fucking let's smoke a fat blunt and go over there and check it out. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Probably not for me, buddy. <laughs> probably not for me. If you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. But that was the wickedest shit that I've ever seen. Like, I still can close my eyes and see that fucking thing on the road. It, it was creepy. Fucking just, it was something straight out of the movies. And I would never forget that fucking thing. Are you much of an artist? Do you think you could draw it? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Did you want me to draw some <laughs> fucking stick figure thing? I'll take I, that as a maybe. 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 <laughs> but it's just, ah, oh God. It's, it's hard to give, like, a general idea. I mean, I guess when you see the horror movies and those people uh, bend their whole back and it cracks and they're walking, it right. kind of looked like that. Right, what it like their like hands and shit. Like their, and body, their feet. Yeah. Was, right. Oh, yeah, just like that. That's exactly what it was. And then and then I hear you guys have a fucking skinwalker ranch out here in Utah. There is an actual, like, that's the name of it. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, no, we were sitting at my girlfriend's dad's house, and he was watching, like, a skinwalker ranch. And I was like, where's that at? Cool. Like, that's cool. That's something cool. He's like, in Utah. Yeah. Immediately, I shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, was <just> like, <laughs> I was like, I'll tell you what I've seen. And I'm like, yeah, but that's fucking, that's crazy. I'll, n I'll never be driving by there, though. I'll tell you that. It's well, me. my understanding is that um, now, like, you don't want to quote me on any of this. Mm -hmm. I've done a little bit of research on it. Um, I can't really give you, like, the years, uh -huh. but f during a certain period of time, there really was a lot of supernatural activity of all sorts. It wasn't just, like, one thing or one theme. You know, it wasn't just aliens. It wasn't just ghosts. It wasn't mm -hmm. just... It was everything. People were reporting all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah. All very close to each other. Um... 
like I want to say this was in the '80s, but I, I still, it might have been earlier than that. And pr- it probably was Out earlier here? than that. Yeah, and Skinwalker Ranch is now like totally fenced off, oh and my God. Um, I understand that yeah. they said the government bought it. <laughs> Lately, I've been hearing like actual people I know saying, "No, dude, I know the guy who owns Skinwalker Ranch," what the and fuck? I don't know if he was originally the guy who bought it or if he bought it from the government after the government bought it. Uh, um, but it is apparently privately owned. It's not owned by the government, but it's still all fenced off and nobody's allowed in there. That's. <sighs> but the people that I know who have been talking to said guy, I've been talking to him, of uh. course, about possibly getting let in and of course i have told them if this happens <laughs> you must let me come please one of them's my brother and oh. the other one is like a good friend of mine's girlfriend slash wife yeah and um i am not like their bestest bestest of buddies but oh. i'm still like hey <laughs> Remember how I'm your bestest, bestest yeah. buddy? And if you ever get let into Skinwalker Ranch and don't tell me, I will never fucking hang out with you again. I, yeah, no. I, what I've noticed, especially here, there is some fucking haunted shit out here. Oh, there's all sorts of shit all over Utah. My, so my brother and his girlfriend, um, they lived in Tooele. And Word. Yeah, yeah fucking Tooele. Um and I remember my dad was doing these routes. Uh, he was driving to trucks, and he was, like, delivering to stores. And um, I, he, I forgot what he was coming out there for, but he had a route right down the street from my brother's house in Tuila. And I was like, you know what? I'll go with you for the end of your route, and then I'll just go stay the night at your house. Word. This is in, like, 2017 when I came out here for, like, a few months or, like, a month. Um, we went and dropped some batteries off at this place first off the first place that we went to we were kind of like sketched because these dudes in the car it looked like they were getting ready to fucking just run a heist on the truck and steal all the car parts that we had in there because like, <laughs> they were so fucking sketch and all i heard like i was sitting there looking at them all i heard was i was like son of a bitch my dad's ready to go like he's not fucking around with these guys so where is this this was out in tuwilla okay tuwilla so um so we they ended up just fucking being weird i think they saw his gun and was just like you know what yeah fuck that i'm not doing this uh we went to the next route and it was an old strip mall or still it's still open a strip mall and it had like car parts in there it was like a it had some shit for cars in there um first things first is we had my sister's dog stella with us and she's a big ass pit bull and she was already giving off some fucked up vibes she was like barking around something's there she can't see it and there was an abandoned building right next to it and I told my dad when we got there, I was like, I swear to God, I saw someone's face coming out that, like, looking out that fucked up window. I swear I'm not playing with you. Someone's face was looking at me. The dog goes around, sucks ground at something. I go over there, nothing's there. I look into the old, like, or into the strip mall. All I see is this man walking down the hallway. And I was like, hey, is someone else supposed to be there? He's like, no, no one's supposed to be here. I pulled out my phone, which I'm pissed because I had it on, like, my Snapchat. And it's just fucking gone. But you can see it looked like an old man was walking in the hall. And then we go around, um, lift up the truck, get the pallet. Because he's like, just ignore it. Like, leave it alone. Like, I've, I've done this route plenty of times. I've seen some shit. Yeah, it might be some homeless crackhead yeah, or something. Yeah, or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? You so don't want to fuck with him. We went back, opened the door. The guy's gone. And my dad's like, I'm just going to tell you, if you hear anything, see anything, it's not fucking there. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> he's like, there is a six feet hole in the little auto place. And um, he doesn't. He wasn't sure on like where it ran to, but it was like a six feet hole. And he's like, they call it the Devil's Lair. You hear people screaming and talking and like whispering in that fucking hole. We went in there, and I was like, show me the fucking, <laughs> show, yeah. show me the fucking thing. Like, I, I don't believe you. Show me the fucking. Say thing. the same thing. He moves the batteries, and you can see down in there, and you just feel it, man. It's fucking creepy. And we were like, you know what, let's just wrap up. Let's get the fuck out of here. Like, I felt fucking weird. I was like, fuck that thing, bro. Like, I'm not even doing it. We are walking out, and I heard, like, someone whisper to me. I was just like, hello. And I was like, are you fucking? No, no one's there. My dad said, if it, my dad said, hey, if it's not there, you know, if you hear it, you didn't really hear it. You didn't see it. It's not there. So I was like, fuck this thing. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and we fucking bounced. And I, while we were walking out, I turned to the right. Same thing's face. It's up there. Like The old man? No. Like, it's the same person I saw going in at the abandoned building. Its neck was like twisted at the window and it was just looking. And I told my dad and he's like, let's just get the fuck out of here. Like, let's go. 
and we bounced and i was like i'm never going back there like i had chills the rest of the night and i was like i'm done i'm not going i'm tired of this shit i was like i'm done i at first i wanted to go to that insane asylum or the insane asylum whatever the fuck and i was like you know what no it's not even worth it and that's in tula and i'm like no i'm good i've already seen too much shit myself i'm not going through a whole fucking night of this shit (laughs) yeah usually one's good enough per night yeah (laughs) usually not always but um what do you know was the abandoned building like what did it used to be it looked like a church Oh, that's, that's like. extra creepy. Yeah, that is fucking <laughs> extra creepy. Yeah, now you saying that, it's like, why the fuck is something weird? I don't know looking? why I was I was imagining like an abandoned auto zone or some no, shit. No, no. <laughs> okay, it. so so the so, church is a little more fucking so, creepy. So the than building an where I, <laughs> the building where I saw the guy's face was a church. I'm pretty okay. sure it was a church. The place that we went to was like a little strip mall in Tula, like a little fucking center that had like little different stores and shit inside of it but like that's a, where you're making your delivery yeah was that, in that it's little not fucking, abandoned yeah it's not abandoned right it should be fucking abandoned but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's maybe not. that's why i thought it was an auto zone because they got the, yeah, fuck, the strip AutoZone. mall and the they AutoZone. had an abandoned auto zone at the, the end of it <laughs> the auto zone demons the haunted auto, <laughs> yeah you don't from bring hell. back you don't bring back their tools they just fucking haunt you or fuck yeah their road flares are eternal Oh, yeah, I won't go back over there. I'm fucked with it. I'm not going back over there. Well, now I've got another place on my t- my tour. I want to do a tour with uh, my black metal band that's not really a band. It's just me with a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> and I scream. There you go. <laughs> I sometimes play with other people. But, yeah, I want to book a tour that's like the first, the first tour of all ghost towns. Yeah, but I won't be attending. <laughs> Nobody will. That's the <laughs> fucking point. <laughs> He's fucking performing for a ghost. Yeah, yeah. You, you renounce the whole tour and everything. <laughs> like, you have tour t-shirts that has every fucking, you know, every place you went. He takes out a fucking cannon gun for the ghost. Who wants a t-shirt? He fucking shoots it and no one catches it. <laughs> <laughs> what would what would be fucked up is if you shoot the uh, the t-shirt gun and Someone does it catch stays it. suspended in air. <sighs> And you're just like, oh, yeah. I was joking. They fucking all you see is like the motion of them putting it on. They're all fucking. Yeah, the fucking <laughs> they're all fucking shirt rocking starts out. Unfolding with- in midair. <laughs> they're all fucking they- rocking out with you. <laughs> it's like, all right, I s- oh okay. T-shirt. Picks we up have an audience. It picks up the fucking jump set and starts performing with you. Start hearing more people like, give me one. Yeah. But there's no one there. Fuck that. Fucking scary shit. <laughs> No, I, I'm serious though. I really do want to do an all ghost town tour. <laughs> do it, do it. I mean, I don't think you make money from it. No, that would not be the point. Uh, I'd record it all, so I at least have so something to show to, for you it. Can try to make money recording it, and then people bring all those like fucking people that are into it in there, like have them pay to fucking see a special episode of like some creepy shit. It's black metal, dude. It's, if yeah. you're just like, man, every one of these shows was recorded in a fucking ghost town with zero attendees. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the point. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely fucking. There's some wicked shit out there, man. I can't even, I can't even count how many times I've encountered some weird shit where I'm just like, what the fuck is that? And like, maybe I think it's because like, I think it's like I'm cursed or some shit. <laughs> I'm like, yo, for all the bad shit I did, they can't get back to me any other way but scaring the shit out of me. And I'm just like, I'm not with it. Is it a curse or is it a gift? Ah, fuck, fuck a gift. I wouldn't Perhaps want that. You I, should I, learn I, how to wield your gift. Oh my god! Yeah, no, I'm not. Like I'm not the <laughs> Haley Joe Osmond kid walking down the street and I'm talking to mid fucking air. People think I'm tweaking. <laughs> that T-shirt just keeps floating around. <laughs> <laughs> you like made a friend. <laughs> I'm walking up to the T-shirt. The floating T-shirt. Doing, <laughs> like that. They turn it into a movie where you and a fucking floating T-shirt are best friends. Yeah, like you get your own out. cartoon show and everything. <laughs> you go out solving mysteries right? and shit. It turns out that the floating t-shirt's good. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end, you're like trying to reunite him with his family. Uh, then you guys have like a breakout documentary where like the t- floating t-shirt went and started doing hard drugs. And then like yeah, <laughs> the band split up. Behind the t-shirt. <laughs> the band split up and couldn't hold it together. <laughs> Fuck. It turns out that like that ghost used to be in the band that inspired me to make uh-huh. music <laughs> and then he died in a utah ghost town <laughs> somehow he died in tooele in the uh, fucking strip mall a hundred years ago <laughs> in the devil's lane. 
And the Devil's Lair. That's yeah. what the band was called, Devil's Lair. Oh, fuck, <laughs> dude. It's all coming together. Dude, we're making a fucking movie. Someone get a fucking writer in here right now. I am a writer. We're doing it. Fucking get this writer to get on it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's cut to the last song here. Oh, yeah. no, we got, we got two more songs. And, dude, we're coming back with a fucking movie. Let's do it. KW Judas, Trouble Much Kid. Thank you all for listening. Pandora, where is your pink mask? It's TMK. It's TMK. Yeah. Bitch. Bitch. Dirty. 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 Yeah. 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 Dirty all on my wrist today. Dirty all on my click today. Dirty all on my shit, okay? Okay, okay, dirty all on my wrist today, dirty all on my clay today, dirty all on my wrist today, you ready? Okay. Okay. I don't wanna say what they don't give that I'm the baddest and I'm bad me with the gadgets and I cut your fucking body with a hatchet. I'm about to let you have it. I don't understand why I'm playing like a savage. I don't get this, you don't get that. Tell me how you like it, wanna take that shit back. I'ma keep them going, wanna keep it right intact. I'ma keep them flowing, wanna keep that shit right. Like, I said fire like a dragon. If you want body, man, you need to run a wagon. I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear the bragging. I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear the bragging. Like, you want them same things. You want the same things, you want the same things You know who made me Dirty on my wrist today Dirty on my clip today Dirty on my wrist today Dirty on my shit, okay Dirty on my wrist today Dirty on my click, okay Okay, okay Okay, okay, back and I'm better. I put it together. I walk through the storm and I walk through the weather. I walk through the pain. I walk through the rain. Tell me what you feel like you had to gain. I know that I'm about to go and just kill it. You know I'm the illest. You know they gon' feel it. How is they feeling? I know that they mad. How is they feeling? I know that it's sad. Sad that I gotta keep proving myself. Sad that I gotta keep losing myself. Bad for my health. Boom, put out the boom. I'm making noise. I feel like death. I feel like doom. I'ma just sweep them all under the boom. Who? Wait. I'ma keep going. You know that I'm great. I'ma never keep going. Late. I'm never too late. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Sorry. Shirt, are you tired of not being able to blow bubbles in your chocolate milk? Uh, sick of your father never doing anything with you? Always making promises and breaking them? That's it. I've had enough. I know what you need. Take a wallopin' from Derpensley's new C4-powered T-shirt gun. No! Oh, why? I'm the fucking host! Derpin' guy! Yeah! Oh, fuck! I'm a gay fucker! Oops. Sorry, Judas. Brought to you by Derpensley. And remember, if it doesn't say Derpin, it's not Derpensley. Well, that was a word from our sponsor, Derp and Schlee. God bless you, Derp and Schlee. Without Derp and Schlee, well, there wouldn't be a Derp to Schlee. And I really, I just like saying Derp and Schlee a lot. It's I fun to say. Fun just, just, just say Derp and Schlee, man. Derp and Schlee. Yeah, it's a fun word.
Oh, dude, I love Definitely. it. So before we wrap things up, yeah. how would you like to tell the kids out there just where to find you online? Uh, you can find me fucking anywhere. Just all you have to look anywhere. up is Trouble Much Kid. Um, kid with two Ds, all one word. So if uh, I go to askjeeves.com and type in Trouble Much Kid. I guess. I mean, if it'll, pro- if, if it'll pull me up, it'll pull me up. <laughs> I don't fucking, I don't know what that is. I don't know if <laughs> Ask Jeeves has existed it's, in like twenty fucking years. I don't fucking. You can just find me on all <laughs> platforms: SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, fucking everything. I'm pretty sure Word. these bootleggers have some fucking CD of some music that I have out. That's just how it is. But yeah, you can definitely find me on that on any platforms. Any um, live shows or uh, album uh, releases or anything you got so coming up? Definitely the album I want it done by this summer. I do have a concert coming up out here in Provo at the Event Center October 29th. You guys can get your tickets. Um, I can provide a link or whatever. You can find it on my socials, Instagram. Uh, Instagram's at, at Real Trouble Much. I think the Twitter's the same shit. But, yeah, I have a link. You guys can go on there, purchase tickets, come out, have fun, and just kick it, man. October 29th is a uh, Halloween sort of yeah, shindig, it's like a, huh? Yeah, it's like a Halloween sort of some some shit like that. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be lots of fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. You guys better come out, have fun, uh, meet me, take some pictures, sign some autographs. I'm pretty chill. I'm not you want it. us to come out and sign autographs? Well, yeah, I want you guys to sign autographs for me to keep it myself. No problem. <laughs> I can totally do that. Do I get in for free? Uh, Yeah. Really? Definitely. You want to come in? All come right. Over. Shit, yeah. I'm totally there. Let's do it. Let's do I it. might already have a show the 29th, but I don't know what the fuck my band's doing for Halloween. Oh, <laughs> we shit. always do something. We dress up as some other stupid band because yeah. what else do you do? Right. Fuck it. All right. Well, thank you very much I for coming you down. I appreciate having the show. Honestly, this has been fun. I haven't done this in a while, so it was pretty nice to come up here and do this. Yeah, probably not like your regular gig. Probably not like the regular, but... I mean, I definitely do it again. This Hell yeah, is, this is awesome. We'll have to have you back on probably next season. Uh, we're booked to clear the fuck out till. It's this is the longest fucking season I've ever done. It's like thirty five episodes. Holy shit! Once one every week. Yeah, definitely. Which I'll to me back. is a lot. <laughs> come back and I got some more wicked ass stories, some crazy shit. I'm all about the the fucking you know funny stories, scary stories. <laughs> Drug stories. I got funny, drug, scary. I got them all mixed together. I got them. Like, all in one. All in one. I got stories like Damn. fucking just line them up. But yeah, no, just shout out to everybody. I mean, shout out to all my family here in Utah. I mean, Billy, Cameron, Marissa. I mean, my son, Elijah. <laughs> fucking, uh, just everybody. My brother, Lorenzo. Uh, my brother, Santana. Just everybody that supported me. Honestly, means a lot to me. Um, and I mean, I wouldn't be here without anybody pushing me and telling me to keep going. So. I appreciate everybody, and thank you for having me on here. It's been amazing. Hell yeah. Trouble much, kid. It's been awesome having you. And we're going to conclude it with hate me. Aw, oh, we're going to end on a negative note. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice <laughs> storytelling song. It's pretty good. It's pretty okay, fun. so what's the story behind this one real quick? You're just going to have to listen to it. Uh, 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 You're just going to have to listen uh, to it. If you guys you skip mother by fuck. it, then you know you didn't like it. <laughs> okay, let's not spoil it. There you go. Hate Me by Trouble Much Kid, KW Judas. Thank you all once again. Yeah. Free radio. Yeah. Provo. Some little shit out this motherfucker. Let's run it the fuck up. Looks like you lost another one. Say they blame me, blame me, yeah, they blame me, they blame me, blame me, yeah, they blame me, they hate me, hate me, yeah, they hate me, they hate me, yeah, they hate me. I said I hopped up off the plane, I checked my phone, they said my bro was gone. How was I supposed to tell his mom that I only son was gone? That he lost his life to a knife and gun, and I'm the fucking blame, cause I was always on the run. I should have never left. I should've stayed to clean the mess But I thought it was the best to change my ways for the rest For weeks I couldn't close my eyes No, I can't sleep at night Thinking about the day my bro don't lost his life See, I don't change my ways But you know it's still the same me And I don't play them games Maybe that's just why they hate me I told the Lord if he said my soul Maybe he could take me 
Maybe he could take me, I pray to God That one day I'ma find myself I ain't need nobody else But I was reaching for that shelf For them fucking pills I ain't need nobody else Fuck you, fuck me, bitch, go to hell Yeah, I know I'm down bad on my back now Tell him I ain't get it Now I'm all about my back now I don't give a fuck Tell him I'm all about this strap now Anybody want it, they can get it Put they back down and now I got my little boy, Elijah, yeah, I love you I'll never put anything above you Your daddy made mistakes when he was just a kid But I paid for all that shit, I swear I paid for it yeah. But one day you gon' learn you can never trust a soul All they gonna do is turn your heart cold Son, don't let it go, don't let it go Don't let them turn you Turn your body to stone And you know your mama love you Yeah boy, your mama love you She'll do it all for you She'll do it all for you She'll even fall 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 for you, even fall for you. Yeah. Said they blame me, blame me, yeah, they blame me, they hate me, hate me, yeah, they hate me, they blame me, blame me, yeah, they hate me, they blame me, blame me, yeah, they blame me, just take me, take me, yeah, don't take me, take me, take me, yeah, don't take me, they blame me, blame me, yeah, they blame me, they hate me, hate me, yeah, they hate me, they blame me, blame me, yeah, they blame me, they hate me. Hate me, yeah, they hate me, they blame me Blame me, yeah, they blame me, they hate me Hate me, yeah, they hate me Soft in the fucking dome Some real shit It's TMK It's trouble Thank you all for joining us on yet another exciting episode of TWT that's on Free Radio Provo. We now return you back to our regular Free Radio programming. <laughs>